is for everybody to come and get saved because Christ died and paid for everybody's sins. If he didn't, it would it, be impossible for God to say, I want everybody to get saved. He would say, well, I'm going to have to die again for those guys, and then I'll want them to come and get saved. Just absolute nonsense. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Even the righteousness of God, which is by faith in Jesus Christ, if unto all and upon all them that believe. It's for everybody. But it's specifically for me when I come to know Him as my personal Savior. We're talking about what Jesus did on the behalf of sin. What about other things Jesus does by dying on the cross? You ever stop to think about it? Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of Him that sent me and to finish His work. His first purpose in coming to planet Earth was to satisfy His Father, was to do the will of God the Father. God the Father was angry at the world. Jesus appeased him. Now he's no longer angry at the world. He has fulfilled his will. Secondly, God the Son demonstrated what it means to walk in a human body and be completely sinless. We were at the mall on Saturday, and me and Steve, and we talked about, what else did Jesus do on the cross? Did he not spoil principalities? He fouled up Satan and his minions. For, from ruining mankind's need to come to God. He fouled them up. His death on the cross. Remember the Bible says, if Satan would have known the plan of God, he never would have crucified the Lord of glory. He never would have had him killed. Why? Because by him dying and being raised as a man, the only superman that ever lived, he brings eternal life to mankind. Doesn't the Bible say Jesus purified the heaven by his death on the cross? Broke down barriers between Jew and Gentile? The death of Christ on the cross fulfills the law? It lifts the curse? And there's a list, a list of things that the atoning work of Jesus Christ and all that he does on that cross and all that he does and did for mankind and for God, there's a list of things that you cannot limit the work of Christ on the cross. It's not until we get to the other side that we're absolutely going to get a great understanding as to the depth of all that Jesus does on that cross. Let's all stand again and be reminded, be reminded of what it costs.